Hey everybody, what's going on? Button here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Crosshair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get a map that you can go into offline with bots. Then you're going to click on the workshop, then you're going to have this Crashes Crosshair Generated Version 2. Before we jump into the map, let's talk about how you can get it. You can go to Play, Offline with Bots, then you're going to click on Workshop, then you're going to click on VU Workshop. This is going to bring the overlay of the browser. Then in that little search thing over there to the right, you're going to type in Crash Z, so Crashes with an apostrophe, and you're going to see the map right there. Do you see Crashes Crosshair Generator V2? That's the map that we're looking for. Alternatively, I'm going to get the link for you guys and all you have to do is click on web browser. So when you shift tab or whatever your keys are for the overlay, you're going to click on web browser, just paste it at the top, then it's going to load the map and then you're going to scroll down. There's a subscribe button to it and that's where you got to click. Make sure to refresh the map list and then once you have it, if you didn't get there, you just click on play offline with bots workshop There you have the map and just hit go. Usually I do with no bots. You're going to have a lot of options for crosshair. Then you also have the crosshairs of a lot of pros, but this one to the right right here, just in case you guys forget, if you click on default, that's going to give you the default crosshair. And then if you ever want to go back to the original one that you loaded with, you just click restore crosshair and that restores the crosshair that you loaded in with. At the top, you have the crosshair style. So in case you guys never messed around with the styles, these are the styles that you can get. Then you also have all the options to customize the crosshair. You can can change the outline you can change the alpha for example if you wanted to see it less you can add a dot customizing will take a while but this is a good way to understand what actually you can do with the crosshair you also got the color panel so you can change the color to whatever the world you want then comes the wall of preset crosshairs for a lot of the pro players you see the teams at the top and then going down you have the players for example this is get right from nip then you have Cloud9 Shroud's Crosshair, then you have Pasha, then you have Taz next. So basically see all the players over here and you can get their Crosshair to try it out. On the other side of the wall, you got a couple of more Crosshair. There's a couple of different people here, streamers and so on. This is Summit's Crosshair that you used at one point. So again, just a whole bunch of different options. Also on the right side of the back wall, you got a couple of more Crosshairs that are not that ordinary. They're a little bit weird as you'll see, you know, these are the ones that are <laughs> yeah, there's a pretty big one here there's a dot one so these are the ones that are, are a little bit different the one end i'm using is this one right here m mod k this is the one that i'm using but you see that when you're actually walking that it actually opens up so what i did is i went to crosshair style and i just put the crosshair style to five once you found a crosshair that you like i went ahead and i went to the test doors there you have a couple of enemies where you can practice your shooting you can change the different scenario in the background but more importantly is this big white wall over here the reason why i like it is that you can spray and see the spray pattern of a weapon then you can clear it and then you can try to see if you can kind of work on your spray pattern to get it all grouped up a little bit better so a big shout out to crashes apparently he has a net code guys here if you guys want to i don't know crashes personally so i do want to give him credit because this is his map so he made it amazing and also i found the easter egg which is a flaming chicken that when you shoot at it it actually gets bigger and bigger Am I supposed to crack a joke about a big rooster? There was one uh, Xbox.